Hip hop singer Armin has spent the last few days in his Los Angeles store packing boxes of humanitarian aid to send to Yerevan, Armenia. It's part of an effort by the Armenian diaspora in the US to help fellow Armenians back home. The first few days we were, you know, telling everyone come drop off whatever you want to donate, medical supplies, uh, medicines from like pharmacies and then of course clothes. But by now we let everybody know that really if you want to help the best way is monetary donation. So far, the Armenian diaspora has raised tens of millions of dollars. I think it was about 80 million. I'm sure by now, like a couple of uh, millions were added. When fighting in Nagorno-Karabakh flared in recent days, both the Azerbaijani and Armenian diasporas mobilized to help. The Armenian diaspora includes more than a million and a half people. Most of them live in California. What we do is only a drop in the ocean. But this is a message of encouragement, a message of support and partnership with our brothers and sisters in Armenia and especially in Artsakh to tell them that they are not alone. The Azerbaijani diaspora has united to help their homeland. About 5,100,000 Azerbaijanis live in the U.S. today. Our diaspora is young, very few people have lived here for over 20 years. Mostly people came to the United States relatively recently. We are only just starting to build connections and the current conflict has united us a lot. The Azerbaijani community is raising money to send back to Azerbaijan. We have dead, we have wounded, buildings are damaged, people need help. Not just financial help, but also moral support. We do what we can, raise money. People are happy to help. The Armenian diaspora in Los Angeles has also taken steps to draw attention to the conflict demonstrating and organizing rallies near TV channel and newspaper headquarters. Some U.S. politicians are speaking out. And I urge the Trump administration to conduct the sustained and rigorous diplomacy necessary to bring peace to the region now. As the fighting over the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh grows worse, the International Committee of the Red Cross says civilians are bearing the brunt, with civilian deaths and injuries reported on both sides of the conflict. For Angelina Bogdasarian in Los Angeles, NRI's VOA News.